So, wow, I haven't done one of these videos in almost feels like a decade to me. I've been, honestly, I have so much to explain to you guys, and I, like, I've disappeared completely. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, I did get a job because of COVID. I am back in uh, my field, and I have been adjusting to a work-life balance. Um, thus, videos have almost come to a halt. I've uh, asked for help from uh, Aaron, who's a, an amazing person we met last season at Canada's Wonderland. And honestly, he has some awesome content that he's working on. And I'm just working on getting myself back into doing both. And now it looks like I have no choice but to do both. But there's so much to unpack in today's update, by the way. So much that I have to shut up right now and get right to it before it gets off the screen. So as you can see on the screen right there, uh, they are tarping up Behemoth. And back on Stunt Coaster's trains were wrapped in blue tarp. Typically, Canada's Wonderland removes its trains, deconstructs them completely, rebuilds them, and that takes all of wintertime and most of spring until the park's ready to open for them to get them back onto the track and ready to go. That is what we're used to as coaster enthusiasts. But with them doing that at the beginning of this spring and the park not opening, the trains don't need to be disassembled and put back together. They've already been done. So they can actually just leave the trains on the track all of winter and the park is ready to open come April or earlier, depending on what's going to happen. Uh, and by the way, that wasn't me suggesting the park's going to open their rides this year. That sounded like that at first and I'm like, oh God, I better correct that before people um, jump down my throat. The good news is um, that saves them a lot of time and money. Other good news is Winterfest items are disappearing and being placed in the park. So there were Winterfest sets being stored in here. One of my favorites, Holly Jolly Trolley. It is now stored inside the park where it normally sits. Um, and front gate appears to have Winterfest decorations on the light post. It is hard to make out when you are this far away. Um, but nonetheless, these are really good signs. It doesn't make sense as to why Wonderland wouldn't be allowed to open for Winterfest, um, whether it be a drive through event or a walkthrough event with no live actors and no live singers and just lights. If they really wanted to, that is something that I can see them totally pulling off as, uh, you know, they have the same capacity that Agora or the Toronto Zoo um, light festival has and it literally would make zero sense and they should be able to open and based off of what even the government said as long as these theme parks and water parks present like an alternative event or whatever it'll be under review and uh, I definitely see them being able to open for Winterfest it's whether they want to do it because Vaughn and York Region currently is in lockdown for another 28 days which would bring us to mid-November which is when Winterfest started so, uh, again, I wouldn't put it past them to actually go down the Winterfest route. It wouldn't be your traditional Winterfest. I don't even think maybe you'd be able to order food. Um, and if you could, it would be like walk-up food, none of the traditional foods that were awesome last year. So, wow, again, so much to unpack. So, the roller coasters are all being stored on the tracks and not being disassembled. Saves a lot of time next year. A Winterfest stuff is being set up. Um, we can confirm that. Does that mean Winterfest is for sure going to happen? No, obviously we saw that. We honestly thought the park was going to open. We were being told certain things by certain people. And, uh, you know, even the park was hopeful that the park was going to open. And then things happened and so forth. So obviously we know now not to jump on the bandwagon of if you see the roller coasters running or if you see this to immediately assume the park's going to open. And even if employees are being told that the park's going to open and they're being trained, the park may not open. These are difficult times, and 
it's very uncertain. There's a lot of uncertainty around what's allowed to open and what isn't allowed to open. And yeah, so again, it looks really good. Winterfest is definitely being set up. There are signs pointing to it, but anything can happen. For all we know, you know, the second wave starting, uh, everything can be shut down into stage one. So there's so much that could happen. So again, this doesn't mean Winterfest is gonna happen, but this is a good sign. So maybe do your part, educate your friends, wear your masks, social distance, help keep those numbers low if you really want any form of Wonderland opening this year at all do your part and help out educate your dumb friends that are anti-maskers marching downtown um and yeah uh nonetheless by the way <laughs> i was filming for this is where it gets funny i was filming for about 15 minutes before i realized something normally when a little birdie comes into my dms or my ears and tells me to go fly or do this um you know, I know right away to go fly. It usually leads to something. I assumed it was the Winterfest and I assumed it was the trains. And, you know, so I had my story. I had my my content that I was going to present to you guys because I thought that was juicy enough. I was honestly like, oh, that's so cool. I never even thought about the fact that they don't have to deassemble the trains. I was like, that's awesome. I'm definitely going to show everyone that. That's a really cool video. I really want to go film that and show them that. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Winterfest. So I was like, obviously, you know, I want to go film that and talk about that. And then here I go, I start turning towards Mindbuster and I start realizing that there's a lot of trucks. There's an electrical company parked in the station with a Wonderland truck um, working on in the station. There's maintenance in the maintenance bay with some steel beams, what looks like steel ledgers. There's a, a pile of small ledgers right next to the lift hill of Mindbuster. And there's a very large ledger, which doesn't look like it would fit anywhere at all, um, just piled along the route kind of next to Typhoon there. And then, right there, an area that has already been retracted, mysteriously being what looks like retracted as well. Normally, and by the way, I have footage of last year, springtime, Wonderland does the retracking in spring for both Wild Beast and Mindbuster. They do it in the spring, it's very quick, it's an easy job. They also don't normally need a crane. Typically, it's just a couple of dudes working on the track, replacing the section, what is going on here is most likely um, showing signs to be like almost like a Ghost Rider treatment. Um, again, too early to tell. It could be anything, but the ledgers are still attached to the track, which is a sign that, um, I, again, it, it's, it's too early to tell, but there's definitely some exciting signs going on on Mindbuster. Again, man, I just had to stop for a second because the fall colors at this park are absolutely stunning. Um, just even that trees in the middle of Mindbuster, I was just like, wow, that's really pretty. Uh, but nonetheless, it's definitely like um, signs to either a Ghost Rider treatment. Maybe they're going to retract the whole thing. They have a lot of time now. They have, you know, fall until spring next year to retract this ride. So they could be doing that. We know the Helix was done entirely uh, within the last... I don't even know. I don't remember the years. I don't remember the time. I'm too old for this now. Um, but it was done. <laughs> but the drop out of the turnaround, and it looks like they're going to keep going even further because as I was filming, again, I filmed this for about 10 minutes. There was still a lot of action. There were trucks hauling away uh, lumber and track pieces towards front gate um, that I caught on the, uh, the drone. And uh, yeah, definitely a crane. This isn't typical for them. Again, Wonderland does normally, but again, I... I had to stop myself again because I'm saying things and as if it's a typical year, but Wonderland's normally not shut down for an entire year, so we don't know. Uh, nonetheless, I did have a theory that Mindbuster, uh, this was going to be its last season. Um, anyone on my team knows that I, I had, and this has no factual uh, evidence behind it whatsoever, and I do want to clarify that. Um, I want to be straightforward. This is merely just what I think. Mindbuster sits in the way of a very big water park expansion. Is one route the park could go down or returning back to the history of what Frontier Canada was supposed to be and Mindbuster was supposed to be the star attraction of Frontier Canada. Um, maybe it's a modification or a refurbishment to make it the star attraction, whether that's GCI, RMC, or just an overall retracking again Canadian enthusiasts are, or Canadian uh, GP are super easy to please they don't need to build the biggest tallest the fattest fattest fastest or baddest attraction out there uh, to be awesome so again Wonderland does face a lot easier uh, projects um, in terms of uh, again in impressing the GP so it could just be a complete Ghost Rider style refurbishment where they just replace all the wood and the ride becomes 
um, super smooth. It could just even be that section, but again, this isn't normally how they do uh, refurbishments of a small section of a wooden coaster. This is unique to see. And uh, there's electrical work going on in the station as well. So, I mean, it, it's definitely too early to tell, but you know me, I'll have my drone out with my Zoom getting in these awesome close shots for you, figuring out what's going on and seeing what's um, gonna happen. Again, super early. Uh, too hard to tell, but we'll keep an eye out for you guys. So stay tuned for more videos on Mindbuster and what's happening and Winterfest, obviously, as well. Again, uh, we won't be jumping on the bandwagon of Winterfest is going to happen for sure like we were with the park opening. We learned from our mistakes um, and we'll just be presenting what we're seeing and again, taking uh, informing you guys to take what we say with a grain of salt. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.